Hey folks, PC Outcast, back with a new series and a new build for that series, the first build of the series. Uh, so this series is single skills. So we're only going to perk one skill. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we're not going to use any other skills. For example, this guy is an alchemist and he's going to have to buy and well, buy ingredients and probably sell potions in order to buy those ingredients. So he is going to do a little bit of speech as well, but no perks. Perks only go into alchemy. And we are doing this on Ordinator because Ordinator adds a lot more uh, stuff to each of the skill trees. Like in vanilla, a lot of the skill trees can't really be used by themselves. They're, at least they're not powerful enough. Coordinator gives us um, offensive and defensive abilities for most of the skill trees. So this should be a pretty interesting series. I hope you will join me for it. And uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And uh, share your thoughts in the comments. So we're starting with alchemy. Now alchemy is one of the most powerful skills, if not the single most versatile skill. It allows you to buff your abilities, uh, heal yourself, regenerate magicka, um, poison, um, all kinds of things, right? So you can, now this guy will probably end up using a lot of those things to enhance his abilities. It might be a little bit, he might, he might end up using more than, um, than some of the other classes or some of the other skill builds will um, because we're going to have to have a delivery method for poisons in particular so I've got an iron dagger we might end up using a um, a um, like a long bow or something whatever the weakest bow with the weakest arrows and the weakest dagger there so that we're doing as little damage as possible with um, with our weapon, and we're going to be focusing mostly on dealing damage with poison, which means, of course, that we can't really fight undead because they can't be poisoned. Can't really fight undead. I don't think we can do a lot of damage to um, to uh, Atronax either. Uh, we should be able to kill dragons. I've set the dragons to only spawn at word walls at level 15 and randomly at level 35 so we're not going to be doing the main quest or anything but uh we'll see we'll see how the how the poisons go and we might end up with something like that so let's get started basically we're going to be picking a lot of flowers and things so bear with me i might just end up um having to edit a lot of the stuff out maybe We'll see. We'll see just how boring it is. Of course, that is part of the experience. Picking stuff is pretty much what this character needs to do. I did consider installing something like a Harvest. Old Harvest Overhaul or whatever, where you, you get more ingredients. But one of the perks in Alchemy is to get more ingredients. Um, experimenter reveals stuff green thumb there you go where's as many ingredients gathered from plants so it's a ways away from now but we'll see how that goes let's see how much well we're really poor so we're not going to be able to buy a whole lot of that I'm going to try to do this as organically as possible where we just you know, mix stuff that we gather as we go and uh, and see how that goes. I know we, we could focus on crafting specific potions and poisons, but I um, kind of like the idea of doing it like this. Dead. By the way, um, yeah, we ended up with this handsome devil uh, thanks to our random number generator because um, I'm using imperious races and 
none of the races really benefit an alchemist. Not really. So I just did a random number generator for the um, for the uh, race that we're using, and used a random number generator for the uh, the look. You know the um, his face and hair and stuff and. Unfortunately, we ended up with that. So please show some love. Let him let him know how you feel. His name is uh, Blorg Groshub. Grosh, sorry, Groshrub, because of course he's going to be focusing on uh, plants. So he's growing shrubs, sort of. <laughs> Actually. That actually might not be a bad idea at all, actually, to go and um, get one of the... build one of the houses. Like, say, maybe the house um, up uh, here. Right? The Not the abandoned shack. The, the house that's, that pops up over here. Because we can do both... Um, it has a fish hatchery, and we can also have a greenhouse. So that might not be a bad idea. So, I'm going to carry on picking up ingredients as we go. And I think we might be able to. Oh. Unfortunately, that is one of the tougher mud crabs. I was kind of hoping it'd be one of. I oh, can't pick that up. I was hoping it was going to be one of the weak little ones, and I could just punch it a few times. Now, well, let's try. We're going to play on master, and we're going to see. Oh, let me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to punch it. Okay. Never mind then. I was going to punch it with my. It wants to block. Yeah. Well, never mind that then. You're going to die horribly if we continue that. I know you're back there. Are you still following me? Yep. Of course, there are mud crabs, I guess they, they can swim. I wonder if the... He'll probably eventually give up on following me, but I wonder if the... Um, the guards here would help me. Combat? No. All's well. Um, there should be bees here. Or if that's only a certain time of day. This is a great place to get thistle. Lots of thistle around here. Um, can't steal from that. I mean, I can, but I don't really want to. This is all food. Also, all food over here. Yep. We don't need food. We need alchemy ingredients. Actually, one thing that doubles as both is eggs. Yeah, 
it won't be too long before we are absolutely swimming in money. And then we can just buy whatever ingredients we want. We can just hop around between different alchemists and buy tons of ingredients. Okay, how are we doing so far? Not absolutely fabulous, but... Now I can... I could eat each of those. Could eat those and then see how that goes. Let's save and uh, just mix stuff, I guess. Uh, thistle with this. Here and the list. There's one. Make sure we get a fresh batch of soup. Come on. There's another one. Okay. There's another one. And there you go. All right. What did we manage to make? Uh, Poison of Lingering Damage Health. That's 40 points of damage. Not bad. Stamina regenerates 22% faster and Frost Resistance of 13%. Um, do you... We got rooms and sell take a look. any... ingredients? Oh, you do? Look at this. Give me this, this, this... I'm going to run out of money, that, that, and I guess that is all I can afford for right now, but we'll go and sell these potions we just made and see where that gets us, money-wise. Well, one of us has to do something. I don't know what you overheard. Some Nothing. I didn't hear a single thing. Um. Well. That is kind of nice. But we're, we need money. And that's it. Okay. We've uh, moved up the rank slightly. How are we doing for ingredients? We did get a few things. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the other cheap stuff that he's got. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Need a room? Take a look. Just the cheap smell well, like that. And that, I guess. And that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, probably can make some of those. Now, there is a healing potion. I'm not sure which is which, though. So, let's use you guys. Nope. You guys. Oh, nice. Nope. Now, that's for that. Ah, that's a shame. Nope. Oh. Alchemy increased. Um... You, you, and you. Oh, nice. Lingering Damage Magica. Okay, you guys can't do anything. We've well, gained one level. You're that visitor, ben. Oh. And we're halfway to level two. Nice. Now, um, I did realize that I missed that um, sizzle branch. I do realize that by focusing only on one skill, it's unlikely that we are going to get enough levels the to get all the perks everything? for oh, each tree, is. because Ordinator does have a lot. So I'm using the 50% more perks 
uh, with Ordinator, and if necessary, I will also level other skills. Like, I mean, as we explore and pick up skill books and things like that, we'll probably end up with a few things anyway. But we are going, we may have to, when we may have no choice, really. Oh, 17% resistance to poison. Nice. 13% there. And another one of those, which is, uh, this is not the health one, this is the Magicka, but not bad. 40, uh, 40 points, pretty good, pretty good. Does he have any? No, he doesn't. That's too bad. That he does have some sitting around, but I'm not going to be stealing, if at all possible. Uh, yeah, so I might have to level up other skills just to get the levels in order to have enough perks to fill the entire tree out. Because, I mean, with alchemy here, we've got two there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, oops, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, at least, if I didn't miss any. Might have missed some up here. We've got at least 22. I'm not sure if once we get to, you know, getting to 100 in alchemy will give us 22 levels. So that's, uh, that's why I'm doing that. Now the nice thing is, once we get really rich, we can just buy all the ingredients. Probably. Probably pretty much buy all the ingredients we could possibly need. So then we won't have to worry about um, picking so much stuff. Can I avoid those wolves? I sort of go this way and... seem to be leaving me alone for the most part. This is a really, really good spot for mountain flowers all along this path. I thought that was lavender for a second. I know from experience that we're going to end up in the beginning with a lot of uh, restore stamina stuff. Hmm. I wonder if she has any ingredients. I think I can trade with her. I've been hunting and fish. Take a look. You do not have any ingredients. That's too bad. All right. Then. At some point we'll go swimming too and see what fish we can catch. Now lots of thistle around here. Oh yeah, I think I can get a bunch more flowers along here on the way to the... Oh, there's a fox just hanging out. Uh, on the way to the, um, the place where you come out for Helgen. Apparently I can get a ton of... A ton more thistle too. So thistle is going to be our main ingredient for the beginning, obviously. Good mountain flowers are good. Ooh, more tapanella is always nice. Uh... Did I just 
skipping these, but I, I kind of feel like I was missing some um, butterflies, too. Oh. I just realized I'm an orc picking flowers and searching for butterflies. I can just imagine the freaking comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. This is going to be good. Yep. Yeah, it sure is. Now, there's a bear in there, and there are spiders. I don't... Oh. I... I don't think... Well, I don't want to deal... I don't want to try and fight them with no armor and, a, and just a dagger. Once I get poisoning going, maybe... Should be able to take on... Uh, some of those things. I hope that spiders aren't resistant to poison. I don't think they are, but... They are um, poison deliverers, so maybe they do have a resistance. Okay, I think that's good for right there. Let's go back to Riverwood and mix some potions up. What is it? I'm doing for uh, cash. Uh, not bad. I might actually just. I, know around here. I might buy the other ingredients. Although I'm kind of, I'd, I'd kind of like to get to. Um, I'd like to get up to um, experimenter at least. Then, you know, then I want to eat with these expensive poison or expensive ingredients. I'm not wasting them. All right, thistle and purple. Oh, there we have that. Uh, that. Ooh. Uh, okay, so they have that. And... Oh, that already mixed stuff. Nope. Nope. Mm, nope. Restore Magicka. And no. And... No, nothing there. That makes for Magicka. That makes resist. Okay, which is more valuable? 60 or... Hmm, 17. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not using the same ingredients. Right? No. Oh, wait. What? Oh, there. You. That's fine. Yeah, his ingredients are a little bit on the pricey side, so... I think I, I've bought all the cheap stuff for the most part. Whoops. Yeah, I don't want... 155 for moon sugar. Ooh, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Can't be mad. Uh, do I have any poisons now? Magicka, resist poison, that's nice. And uh, resist frost. These things are actually worth a little bit, which is nice. So it is too bad that I'm not mixing in uh, uh, speech. I mean, we're going to get a little bit of a benefit, but we're not going to put any perks in. So I'm not really going to be able to sell stuff for trinkets, as much as I could ends, otherwise. Well, that's not worth anything. There we go. Oh, Back well, we're cleaning. almost level one. All right, level two. Let us... Uh, uh, it's getting late, but whatever. We're going to run. To run. Uh, uh, we are going to... Uh, how am I doing for... Ash, not bad. I want to do a few little side missions and stuff, although I think we're going to end up with so much money. We're not going to know what to do with it before long. It's just the initial bit here that's a struggle. Oh, 
don't really want to fight that uh, wolf if I can avoid it. There's a dead rabbit. Oh boy. Okay, we're going around. You just do you over there. totally and completely not interested in what you are doing with that prisoner. Not right now, anyway. Maybe I'll take issue with it later. Oh, there's some lavender, finally. There's some more lavender. It's nice. Good stuff. It's actually a lot harder to uh, hick in third person. Probably missing all kinds of stuff. You guys are screaming at your screen. It's right there. You missed it. I apologize for all the OCD viewers. I know this must be torture if I'm missing things. What's an empty barrel doing there? Is that uh, part of a signs mod? Oh, we got lots of mountain flowers. Lots of mountain flowers. Oh, yeah. Tough. And, and also quite a, quite a bit of lavender. Mountain flower, mountain flower, more mountain flower, and there should be... Aw. Wrong time of day for... Butterflies. Could be ripping butterflies into pieces as we speak, but no. That is a terrible sadness. Did I miss the uh, Nern root? Where's the Nern root? It's further up. Oh, don't miss the Tundra Cotton. Oh, there it is. Now this is definitely something I don't want to just use right away. I'm going to wait until I have the Experimenter perk. It shouldn't be too long. I mean, we're... We're at level 20. We're just about to gain a, gain um, a, a character level. So. Too, too bad. I smelt a flower, even though I couldn't see it. Maybe I should have got a mod that makes uh, flowers stand out more. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be doing picking for that much longer. An episode or two, or and I mean we may just pick stuff up as we go along. We're not going to be like searching high and low for every flower we can we can find because we're going to end up buying lots and lots of ingredients. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, By the way, if you guys know of a mod that increases the um, the stocks of vendors, please let me know in the comments. I used to use um, what's it called with uh, legendary the legendary uh, edition. I used to use vendors have. No, it's called Al Alchemists Have Ingredients or something like that, but it also increased the supplies of other vendors, I think. But I don't think that's been ported over to Special Edition, and it was never really complete anyway. 
I guess ingredients are the main thing, but it was all it was also a bit cheaty because you you ended up with just a ridiculous number. Like they would have hundreds of simple ingredients and maybe I don't know dozens of like even the rarest ingredients. So that was a bit much. I, I'd just like to have it that it's a little bit easier to find ingredients at Alchemists. I mean, they should have a decent stock, you know, you'd think. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that this place is going to have a ton of ingredients lying around. And that's Those god res. Sorry, I'm just stealing all of your flowers. There's some stuff here. Uh, yeah, good place to find some tundra cotton. More tundra cotton and lots of mountain flowers. And. back here. This is the um, barracks, right? I always think that the barracks is at the front. Is Actually, that might be another barracks as well. Don't steal out of that. And there we got some nightshade. Dragon's Tongue, a few new ingredients, that's real nice. Oh, and that. And we'll go ahead and, uh, whoops. That's not what I want. That's not what I wanted either. Can I, can I just sheathe my, my, my thing, please? Thank you. All right, what have we got? Let's try this. No good. That's nice. Conjuration spells. Ooh, damage magicka regen. That's worth a lot. We're going to definitely do that. That also leveled us up. Nice, actually. We will tab out and we'll put a point into... Well, we're not going to do magic. And we're not relying on stamina, so I guess just points into health. So, potions and poison, poison, oh dear. Potions and poisons, 20% stronger. Well, we can actually do both. And we can do stimulants. Hmm. When you use a beneficial potion or ingredient, you regenerate 2% of your magic and stamina per second for 30 seconds. Uh, you may choose a type of beneficial potion, health, magic, or stamina. Potions you mix that restore or fortify the chosen attribute are 50% stronger. Now let's put... I don't have another perk point. Okay, that's fine. We're going 20% more powerful, which means they're going to be 20% more valuable. You can do lavender. Fine. Nope. Actually, let's not use you. Let's use you. You? No. Okay, fortify magicka. That's nice. 
Yeah, we're gonna level up way faster as time goes. Oh, that's too bad. Thunder Cotton, that's Magicka. Magicka. Uh, Ravage Magicka, that's not really worth anything. Poisons, unfortunately, are, like, the, the weaker ones are, like, not worth anything. Unknown effect. Frost resistance. Have we can, have we checked everything? Don't know. No, that doesn't do anything. Oh, resist magicka. That's another nice one. Could be useful. Uh, concentrated poison temporarily reduces maximum and current magicka by 11 points for 10 seconds. Okay, that's kind of useless. It only reduces their magicka by 11 right points. Now? Last 10 seconds. Yeah. Oops. It's not even worth anything either. I'm going to save the Nurn root. Oh. No, it doesn't do anything. And that's... Yeah, okay. Let's just... Uh, level those up like crazy. Nice. Um... Okay, there's our next level. Ooh, level 26. Nice. That's good. More health. And we have two perk points now. So we're going to put one into mastery, making them 40% stronger, which means we will level even faster. And... Um, should I save... Should I save the point for experimenter? We're probably going to get want to get health, right? Let's do do that. When our, we may, we make health potions, they'll be more powerful. So that's uh, fortify conjuration. All you've got. I sell cures for all ills. Not going to use that one. Oops. Magicka, ravage. No. All right, let's just do those. Not worth a lot, but whatever. And that's it. Now we get rich. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Yes, I am. Um. Decreases magic regen, that's nice. That's crap. Uh, that would be nice, except we're not going to use Conjuration. Um, you can take all my Fortify Magic Potions. Um, you can take that one. And you know you don't have a lot of money left. There you go. All right, what do you got? Up to there. And then go ahead and sell. Oh, there you go. Is already running out of money. Doesn't take much. Really doesn't take much before you are like burning through everybody's wallets. Okay, which we have the most of that. Oh no. Wait. Yeah, we got two unknown there. I burn through all these quality ingredients. Oh, there you go. Fortify health. It already fortifies 48 points. Increase health and fortify health. Nice. That's a good one. We're actually going to make all of those.
fortify stamina. That's too bad. You can do fortify magicka. And that's it. And I don't think she actually has enough money. Well, I don't think she has enough money for us to do anything else. Nope. All right. Well, we are going to uh, wrap it up there. So we got to level three. We are very, very close to both leveling to four and getting experimenter. We can also do advanced lab, which will allow us to make stronger potions. Um, that's 40. That's 30. Okay, so we're basically, we've got, yeah, we've got like four things here. So when we get to level four, we should have two. So two points, so we'll do experimenter, probably experimenter and advanced lab. That's going to allow us to make substantially stronger potions and poisons. Um, and then we're going to do these two on the next level. I think that's the plan. Thank you very much for joining me. Once again, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't done that and hit the notification bell, which I don't know how much that really helps, but whatever. Uh, doesn't hurt, I guess. So there you go. And uh, please share your thoughts in the comments with this build, both this build and the series in general. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you next time.